I found this list really difficult, really, really difficult. So I think there may well be some uh, comments that you're going to chip in with on this one. And please do in the comments uh, while, while you're there, hit the thumbs up, lets other people know that I exist and this video exists and, uh, and hit subscribe. I'm Tim, this is Egg Chasers and um, out in France, so much content uh, coming your way throughout the World Cup from around the stadiums, from around the team meetings, from around the fans and just around France in general. So I, I really appreciate that you're on board and let's get stuck into the fly halves then. And again, there's, uh, there's some talking points here. Um, Marnie Libok. I've spelled his name wrong, haven't I? There's no C. Sorry, Marnie. Can I block that C out? There you go. There you go. Marnie Libok at number 10. Um, looks good. Looks really good. And if he can goal kick, he'll be moving up that list. You've got to be able to do that as a, as a 10 in this South Africa team. Uh, when the games get tight and you know get to quarterfinals and semifinals of World Cups and they, they do tighten up and become close affairs. But he has just added another dimension to the South Africa team. And you can see the evolution of the team moving forward with Lamani Lebok as their number 10 with the absolute wheels that they have got in the back line. So I'm really excited to see what he can do with the pressure of a World Cup, the kind of pressure that he won't have faced yet. But he seems like a... Seems like a man who can who can take that weight on his shoulders. We're going to find out. Really like him. And a similar age and similar style of play for Argentina, Santi Carreras, who is just an absolute baller. Much like Marnie Libok, just gas to burn, skills aplenty, and loads of really exciting backs outside him that when you have that player at number 10, because Santi Carreras has played a lot of rugby at 15, Argentina just want the ball in his hands as much as possible because he makes things happen. I really like him as a 15 as well, but they're stacked in that area. So, um, yeah, Santi Carreras, love him. Number nine. At number eight, Paolo Garbisi, another young guy, even younger still, 23 years of age, plays at Montpellier in France. And another 10 with just skill, skill, skills. It's interesting. I'm, I watch quite a bit of NFL and you see that the way that quarterbacks have changed, there was sort of quite um, like skillful but robotic, quarterbacks and now we're kind of getting the the flare QBs and I think that's going on a bit with rugby in the fly half position you're getting a lot of these a lot of these younger guys coming through that have just got all of the skills and really changing the way that rugby is played and it's great to see and Paolo Garbisi well with him at 10 they could cause an upset because he just makes stuff happen so um yeah, the last two pool games for Italy are against New Zealand and France. What can they do with those? We'll, we'll find out. Uh, a man who will have something to say about that last fixture is Matthew Jalabert, who's at number seven. Uh, plays for Bordeaux. Again, another youngster, 24 years of age. And th there was a lot of talk in the French press only very recently. Or oh, Untermac or Jalabert, which one should it be? There was a genuine debate. Uh, Untermac kind of made the jersey his own. I think partly because he has that club partnership with Antoine Dupont already, but that just goes to show that it's such a shame that Untermac is out, but Jalabert is a more than able deputy and, well, he could make a name for himself and he could win that shirt back for good. At number six, Owen Farrell. There might be some groans when I say that one. Um, Again, the criteria for this, it's not just about current form and it's really hard for any player to play well in this England team. It's about current form, historic form and gut feeling. And my gut feeling is when I look at it is... Does, all through his career, coaches keep picking him and other players keep talking about him in the highest regard. Even opposition players talk about him in the highest regard, referees and everything. I think he's an incredible player. Uh, one of my favourites, as, as you probably know if you watch the channel. Um, and I think he more than is, justifies his position at six. Uh, Richie Mawanga, uh, he's made the 10 jersey his own for New Zealand, hasn't he? He's ended that conversation about Bowden, D-Mac, uh, and and Richie and it's his jersey and he's got it now it's, it, this is his team this is his attack to drive around the park his goal kicking's on point he's looked really good progressively better through the, the rugby championship in the warm up games and I'm really excited to see what New Zealand looked like with Richie Mawonga in the hot seat at the age of 29 he's kind of prime age now in this World Cup this, this is his tournament it, he could make it his uh, so we're going to see how that goes on Friday night against France aren't we, aren't we? and it should have been 
Richie Mwanga on one side, Roman Untermack on the other. Obviously, that's going to be Matthew Jalabert now. Such a shame that Roman Untermack is out of the tournament. He is nonetheless. I, I didn't want to not have him in the top 10 because that just would be unfair. He's there on merit at number four. And for me, Andre Pollard is at number three. He's. I've been talking about all these flare fly halves and it isn't that Andre Pollard can't do that because actually he can run with... He can like He is a good ball runner. He can play 12 very well. He does have skills. He's got a great distributor. Obviously a brilliant goal kicker and good tactical kicking game. But he's more of a real all-rounder. And I, I, he's, he's the kind of guy that... That's, he's the kind of fly half. I mean, obviously he has won a World Cup. But when you look back at the fly halves that have actually won World Cups, they're more like an Andre Pollard than they are like a Roman Intermac. We'll see if that is the case this year. If it is, could it be that Johnny Sexton is the one who's going to be um, bringing a World Cup home? Because, yeah, that is the kind of fly half that tends to win World Cups. Someone that does all of the fundamentals really well and then just has a little something extra on top. 37 years of age now, Ireland will be wrapping him up in cotton wool. He's obviously been suspended during the warm-up game, so he'll he'll need to get some game time. But it's the Irish system has worked really well to arrive at a World Cup with Johnny Sexton at 37 years of age, still able to play because they've been able to really limit his game time, get the very most out of him when it matters most, and fair play for that. And what a way to go out it could be for Johnny Sexton in what what you what you imagine will be maybe the last games he plays full stop. Uh, number one though, Finn Russell, just a baller. He, do you know what? Finn Russell doesn't get credit for for being a brilliant defensive fly half, for having a really good tactical kicking game, and and controlling uh, a game. His game management is brilliant. But yes, he can throw passes. Nobody else, not just any fly half. No one else in rugby can throw. He has got a box of tricks, and he's just it's one of those guys where the, this. It's almost obviously you. I don't think he was born with it. He's obviously worked really, really hard at it, but it just feels so natural and he enjoys himself. And that face that he's put in there, he'll be pulling that face whether he's playing a World Cup final or, you know, a little game of touch in training with his teammates. So he's the kind of guy you just you just love watching play because he loves playing and can't get enough of it. And um, Scotland's got a big ask. If they can come out of their pool with Ireland and South Africa, Finn Russell will be the man. And against South Africa in their first game, you sort of feel Scotland are going to have to score 30 points to, to actually manage to beat South Africa. When you've got Finn Russell in your team, it's possible. We've seen it before. He can just carve defences up. And South Africa have got a very good defence. We're going to see just how good when this guy tests it. So uh, Finn Russell, my number one. There's the top 10 with the, the, the movers and the some that haven't moved, staying in the same position. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And uh, we're into the centres on the next video.